Authorities in Iran are spraying clouds with chemicals to induce rain. It's an innovative attempt, obviously, to combat the country's worst drought in decades. It's known as cloud seeding. The Iranian officials announced the process was conducted over the Ermia Lake Basin Saturday. That's Iran's largest lake, but one that is almost completely dried out, leaving a vast salt bed there. Now, Iran's rainfall has decreased by about 89 percent this year compared with any long-term averages. We're joined by Dr. Barry Lynn, senior research scientist at Hebrew University and chief scientist of weather. It is He's joining us from Jerusalem. Um, good to have you with us. So first, tell us more about cloud seeding. You know, can man control the heavens? Well, we'd like to think we can, but the heavens have to cooperate. In order for cloud seeding to work, you have to have clouds. And Iran has been in a drought for a number of years now, and that means there probably aren't very many clouds to seed. And uh, I just want to say that we do know that pollution doesn't affect the intensity of cloud uh, precipitation from clouds. But when it comes to cloud seeding, you really have to put a lot of airplanes in the sky. And the question is whether you can put enough out there to really make a difference. Look, officials in Iran are going as far as announcing plans to, to punish, you know, penalize, you know, households and businesses that, that consume excessive amounts of water. You know, are these policies that show, you know, any impact? You know, is this a good way to respond to this? I don't think so. I, I really think their problem is water management mm -hmm. as a whole. Uh, years ago, when the Shah was in power, a lot of Israeli scientists went to Iran and helped them develop a modern uh, hydrological system with modern pipes, uh, distributions, agriculture. But after the Shah was overthrown, these scientists and the people who had that expertise were kicked out. Yeah. And a lot of the uh, uh, projects went to the um, Republican guards, which were building large dams. It was all a lot of corruption. And if you don't build intelligently, you end up with a poor water management. And when it does rain, you don't manage the water you have. 